Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. We're going to go through 15 bolos and 5 nolos for the month of April. April? Yeah, April has come and gone <laughs> really quickly. Okay. So let's get straight into what's sold for this month on eBay. Let's get into it. So the first item we sold was this uh, HP 60XL set of ink. Uh, we picked this up quite a while ago. Cost of goods was 10 bucks. We sold it for 104.95, leaving us a profit of $73.31 after all fees and shipping. So definitely one of the bolos this month. Um, definitely keep an eye out for ink when you're out thrifting and uh, garage sale. Yes, please. Uh, we sold this FUBU Vintage 1992 jumper, oh, how sick was almost that? as old as me. Um, we very nearly sold it on Depop, but we didn't. We sold it on eBay, so the cost of goods was 20 bucks. Sold it on eBay for 80, and we made 36.75. So not huge profit on that, um, but definitely a bolo. If you can sell one of those for 80 bucks and you can pick it up in an op shop for cheaper than we did, then you're going to do really well. With 36 dollars profit on that, still. Awesome. Brad can't leave FUBU behind. He's got to like rescue it and rehome it. Definitely. Uh, the next item is this. LG VHS um, DVD combo. Oh yeah. Uh, we paid 20 bucks, it had the remote, which would made it um, worth more. Uh, and we sold it for 120 bucks. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, 64.40 in profit. Um, definitely a bolo item. Keep an eye out for those uh, VHS DVD combos. And if you get the ones that record um, across, then they're worth even more money. So bolo. <laughs> and if you have a box in your house that fits it, extra. <laughs> Um, this was a cool one. I liked this Kathmandu Gore-Tex hiking jacket. It rolled up really small in a little stashable bag. Uh, we paid $22.40 for it and we sold it for $95 and that was a best offer. So we made $47.40. That was a nice little flip. Uh, the next one was this really nice RM Williams women's double-breasted jacket. Um, so we paid $30 bucks for that, but we don't mind paying up for RM Williams because this <laughs> sold for $129.95. Whoa. So that left us a profit of $70.21. So that's definitely on the bolo list. If you see any RM Williams jackets out there in good condition, jump all over them because you can make some serious Jump all over them. Stacks on. <laughs> um, Doc Martens, another favorite of ours. This was the 14i Scout Boots. I um, think this one was made in China, so don't pass things over um, if they're made in China, if it's a good quality item. Uh, we paid $35 for it and sold it for $135, so $67.45 profit. Very nice. Um, so we don't mind paying up for dog marks because we know we're going to get good money on them. Just check they're not busted. <laughs> yeah, especially those um, bit different ones. We're, we're happy to sort of pay $35.40 if we know we're going to get $120 plus. So. Nice little sale. Um, this one here was from the boys opening up the uh, footy cards. So I bought three packs of these. I got this really cool showstopper in one of them. Um, I put cost of goods down to 80 bucks. I sold a couple more cards from that set um, and the set cost me 100 bucks. Um, so I put it down to 80. I sold this specific one for $150, um, making 37.65 on that specific item. Now, you're probably not going to find this sort of out in the op shops, but if you can pick it up on like Marketplace or something like that for cheaper, it's definitely a bolo. Look out for showstoppers. AFL Select 2020 season, and the lower the number on these ones, the better. So um, if you happen to come across a set and it's got a showstopper, definitely worth a look. 150 for, for one card. card. I don't get it. And some okay, of these cool, go cool, for cool. like a lot more than that in the showstopper range. All so. right, all right. Uh, this next item I, I held on to for as long as I possibly could. Um, so these are vintage Thomas Don. Thomas Dan? Tom, I think it's pronounced Thomas Don. Spelt Dan. Thomas Don Troll Dolls. We got them at a garage sale for two bucks and displayed them in our home for a whole year because I priced them really high. But we did accept an offer for these little guys for $110 recently. So I have now let them go, but you can have your troll cake and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> we kept them and sold them. And 85.20 profit. 85.20 profit is um, not too shabby. Oh, nice. uh, here's a little one that gets looked over quite a lot. It's these Nike women's wedged high top um, shoes. So inside the sole, there's a little wedge. Um, you can usually pick these up for between eight and 10, $15 even. Um, that's where I usually see them. 
I sold these for, well, we sold these for $89.95. So $12 cost of goods on that one. Our real fees and postage, $53.41. So keep an eye out for genuine Nike products. Um, you can usually tell by the six digit code inside the tongue. And then there's also a color code at the end of it. So you can look them up on eBay, do a direct search on comps, and then you'll be able to see what they're selling for you. So I wonder why those ones get overlooked. That's I don't know. I've found a few like that style, um, and they just don't seem to get picked up very often. So I'll pick them up. Yeah, definitely <laughs> keep them out for those. That is definitely a bolo. Uh, the other great shoe that we had was the Sor Sorel 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 insulated hiking snow boots. We actually found these for three dollars <laughs> fifty, which never ever 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 happens. Um, but three bucks fifty, Brad snatched them up, and we sold them for ninety dollars, and we made fifty nine eighty profit. Sorel's a very good brand to keep an eye out for, and they do a lot of like snow boots, hiking boots, all that sort of stuff. The insulated ones, absolutely, most of the time you'll get close to 100 bucks on them. So if in good condition, no cracks or anything like that, um, then pick them up. They're definitely a bolo, Sorel. Keep an eye out for that. Swan Dry is another bolo. Um, we picked up this Swan Dry Pure Wool Jumper. Um, it's that virgin wool, so it's got that really funny feel that I hate. Uh, I, <laughs> Paid up for this, so I paid $25, um, but I knew I was going to sell it for around the $100 mark, and we sold it for $99, including shipping. So after all fees and shipping costs, we made $48.28 on that one. Yeah. Keep an eye out for Swan Dry, very, very good brand. It's starting to get cold, so our jackets are moving. Um, we picked up oh. <laughs> this gorgeous age blouse. Um, I think that we showed that in a video, because Kara and I found one each, and we were just sweating we were so happy um we listed this one up with our own photos and also with a stock photo because it was pretty difficult to capture the style um but we paid eight dollars for it at savers and we sold it for a hundred and twenty dollars so we made eighty eight dollars <laughs> forty on a blouse that was insane that was two awesome finds i think Kara got 140 for hers yeah um so keep an eye out for age that was an insane find, brand new tag, so. Even if I saw the plain t-shirts from Age in good condition, I'd grab those to sell as well. Yeah, definitely a bowler right brand. Um, very hot item. This next one, you may actually be able to find out in thrift stores, so keep an eye, out, eye open for this. It's uh, called RAN, it's the Criterion DVD. So look for RAN, Criterion DVD. Um, I picked this up in a bulk lot from a collector, so we paid less than $5 per piece. This sold for $129.95 used. So that this, must be a good movie. <laughs> this had been opened, it had been played, it wasn't sealed or anything like that, so that's why I'm sort of suggesting you might be able to find it in a thrift store. Keep an eye out, massive bowl, $129. So after all fees and shipping, we made over $100 on that, $100.06. So awesome bowl, keep an eye out for that DVD. All right, I'll be on the lookout. Um, we sold an Atari Lynx handheld. We sold two games with it as well. Um, picked that up for $50. Was that on a local deal? Yeah, local like bulk deal, yeah. I don't think I've ever found an Atari <laughs> Lynx in an op shop. Um, well, we sold that for $140 for the bundle and we made $63.80 and we just popped a picture in to show the screen uh, working. Yeah. Uh, last bolo before we get into the Nolos is this Grateful Dead Opoly. I've never seen it once. Yeah, but keep an eye out, because um, I picked this up, I paid up for about $18, I think it was. Uh, sold it for 99 including postage. So we made $50.13 on that one. It's essentially a takeoff of Monopoly. Um, anything <laughs> Grateful Dead usually Grateful moves. Dead art is wicked. It was very, very cool, very good condition, and it sold pretty quickly. So we made $50.13 on that item. Very I thought you were that. crazy spending $18 on that at the time, but... Uh... You've schooled me. Let's get Nolos. into the Nolos. I did thumbs down, but really like, we still <laughs> it's, did okay it's on still these, money though. in the bank. Um, one of these was, um, we picked up a bunch of OGX Argan Oil shampoo at a little um, IGA that was closing down. So we paid about $2 a piece in that lot. We just bought a big box of assorted stuff from them. Um, we sold that for eighteen fifty shipped and we made $6.10. So it's not the biggest profit, but we have a stack of these and they're going to keep ticking over. So if I saw one alone, probably not going to buy that to resell. If I can buy a shelf full, then I will. 
Yeah, the reason I put this down as a Nolo is because they're readily available in like Coles or Woolworths. Yeah. And trying to price compete line. with their prices is quite difficult. So they've been sort of slower moving. Um, so if I saw them out in the op shop, I just probably wouldn't grab them because I could grab other stuff that's going to sell quicker. I actually do get them in the op shop, but for me. <laughs> the next item uh, for Nolos, um, items that we're not looking out for, is this Pokemon trading oh. cards with books. Now, there are some... Um, Pokemon trading cards that are worth crazy money, yeah. but they're all usually in the original sets like um, the first sets that came out the holographics and Australian stuff like that tour. Yeah, so this one here was just a random set that came with a, a folder So I just grabbed it because I wanted to see what was in there. I paid five dollars We sold it for 2280 with postage and we only made two dollars and four cents Yeah, so, fitting that folder into a, a satchel. The yeah. postage was up there. So not really worth our while didn't make a good return on it if you're going to look into Pokemon cards, do your research first um, because there are some that are worth a lot of money but you want to get the ones that are legit as well because there are a lot of fakes. You know what? It was like sell it or donate yeah. it and at the moment we can't go out so we just sold it. Yeah, two bucks. Um, the other funny thing was the Commonwealth Bank collecting oh. pens. Another thing that I had there and I thought I can put it in the donate pile or I can just chuck it up on eBay. We ended up taking an offer on that, um, so we paid, say, a dollar for those, probably. Yeah. Once it comes down to it, we bought a, a man's entire shed. <laughs> um, we sold it for 10 bucks, and I sent it untracked, and we made $4.40. Yeah, so I put that in Nolos, because if you see that out, you're probably not going to pick it up. <laughs> but for us, it was just a part of a massive bulk deal that we did, so to add $4.40 to that, um, you know, it's a nice little sale. It's not breaking the bank, but... <laughs> it was something we could list and keep our store active, so definitely a NOLO, don't pick that up. <laughs> Next NOLO, and I'm annoyed that we ever picked these up, were these Ken Duncan puzzles. So I'm not annoyed at this. <laughs> we've sold all of them now, and they're all gone. So this was a 748 piece puzzle. We picked this up ages ago for around $3. We sold it for $37.80. So we did make $15.89, and you're probably saying, well, why is that a NOLO? Because this sat and sat and sat, and it's only because of the COVID situation that this actually sold. So that's the reason I put this down as a NOLO. I'm glad, glad that they're all gone. Minimum cost in them, but it's just not worth the time spent to wait that long to get a sale. And I don't expect that these are going to sell ongoing. So NOLO for me. I'm going to keep buying them and doing them, and we'll have a stockpile for next time <laughs> everyone's stuck in their house. <laughs> Hopefully there is no next time. <laughs> That's true, that is true. Last Nolo item. Okay, it's an ink. So we started with an amazing set of ink. We're gonna finish with a not so good one. Um, it was the HP 28 Tricolor. It was expired. Um, that really old box style. It was not even the packaging that they produce anymore. It was quite old. Paid two bucks for it um, in a bulk lot. We've averaged out the cost. We shipped it off for $19.95 and we made $7.36. Um, there is a little bit of risk there because that person could have said this didn't work in my printer, it was too old and we would have refunded it, but luckily it did work. So, so that is 15 bolos and 5 nolos for April. Um, so let's get into what we actually sold for the entire month of April. I'm excited to see these totals. So this was by far our best month we've had on eBay. Now there are a few reasons to that um, and we do take them into consideration. Obviously the COVID-19 that's going on has forced a lot of people to be buying online. So that's definitely helped our sales. Um, we're up pretty much 45% on last month, which is pretty huge. Um, so for this month, and this is not including today's sales, so we're actually filming this on the last day of April. Um, up until yesterday, we had sold $15,462.99 for the whole month. So for us, that's high. So $15,000 for the month, which is huge. It's a great month for us. Um, obviously, as we said, the COVID-19 crisis has sort of pumped up sales with everyone shopping online. But another way to look at it is we had to do that work at some stage to get those items up on eBay. So we're happy that we've been selling so much stuff. We've had a really good month. We've sold 340 items for a month, which is up again about 40% in our normal. Um, so it's good to turn over some stock, especially when we haven't been buying especially much Especially all those puzzles. <laughs> Bloody puzzles. So saying that, um, the $15,462.99 plus today's sales, which I think we've had about $400, but we'll just go off the sales up until today. Our average sale price is 40 
$5.48. A little dip there. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that because we have been moving a lot of that lower end stock, which is nice. Commonwealth Bank pens. Yeah, <laughs> um, so awesome month. I'm really happy with those sales. Um, definitely our biggest month on eBay. And it's definitely helping our 90 day total. So it's going to be interesting to see what that gets to. So that's, uh, that's everything for this month. Um, let us know what your best and worst sales, your bolos and nolos were for the month of April. Um, we're really keen to hear more about what everyone else has been selling because I know there's been some strange stuff going on <laughs> at the moment. There's been some weird ones. <laughs> um, make sure you smash that thumbs up for us. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, we really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, we do have some awesome stuff coming up. So Tuesday night coming up, we're going to do um, what sells on eBay for shoes for our new Tuesday night live. We like talking shoes. Yeah, um, because I think that's a, an area that we haven't talked about a heap of. So join us on Tuesday night to talk about shoes. We're going to go through a bit of a range there. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. And thanks for joining us today. And we'll see you next time on Toursy Thrifters. Thank you for watching. Bye.